Hi, I'm Paris and I'm back with my world's most comfortable Miracle Bamboo Pillow follow-up. A little sooner than I thought I had anticipated driving with this cushion in place for four and a half hours, the second half of today's driving, but actually I only made it from about Phoenix to Tucson. My back is killing me and I can't keep it in place anymore. Now, keep in mind, this is just the road trip review. This is how it works in the car and in my particular car, which is a Honda Odyssey minivan. This can also be used at home, at school, at work, out at sporting events, so it may work perfectly fine there. With the vehicle, there's some complications, so let me explain why I am ending this testing a little early and um, issues that you may have. First off, the seat belt. Well, I'm sitting about two, two and a half inches higher and I already had the seat belt in the highest position here, so it fits on me a little funny. And I can't, I could change that by lowering the entire seat. That would bring that down a little. But here are the things that I can't change about the seat. The armrest, well, this one I suppose if I lowered the seat, my elbow would catch on here. But if the other one, the other, let me show you, the other armrest right here, my arm doesn't, well, it doesn't reach either of them now, but even if I were to lower the seat, the arm would catch on the door one, and that would be okay, but the other one's gonna go down with the seat, and so I'm driving without any place to rest my arms. And if you don't use the armrest, maybe it wouldn't bother you, but it bothers me. <clears throat> the other thing, and the main thing, what's causing my backache right now, is the lumbar support that's in the seat, which is designed to be right in that lumbar curve of your spine. Well, I've just moved my whole self up a couple inches, so the lumbar support now is too low, pushing on my spine in the wrong place, and I have no support up where I need it now in the lumbar, so my back hurts so badly after just an hour of using this. And whether I put the seat up or down, the lumbar support goes with, so that is not going to change, and that's really the deal breaker for me. I did have to change my mirrors from the, having it at a different height, but if you're gonna use it in your car all the time, once you change everything to work with the seat being this height, it should work for you. Now this, the last thing I will tell you about <coughs> is um, the, the material of this, the support is um, a little too firm because there, I've only been driving in an hour now and there are a couple spots under the, the hip bone that have really gotten sore and I've had to keep moving around. So what's happening is it's supporting there but it's supporting too much. It's not letting me sink into the cushion quite enough and spreading my weight among more points of support. And that's a delicate thing with a cushion. If it's uh, too firm, you get the issues like I'm having. If it's too soft and it's like a marshmallow, your butt basically <laughs> sinks right through it, and then you're gonna have pressure with whatever surface is below the cushion. So it has to do that balancing act just right so your the curve of your behind is sort of halfway down in the cushion or so. You've got just enough support and it's spread out and you don't sink all the way through the cushion. So for me, this is um, too firm and um, it, it hasn't been comfortable, irregardless of all these other factors, just sitting on it for an hour, it's uh, got a couple sore spots going. Now, um, I will try it out for these other uses. I'll keep it in the car and uh, the sporting event, especially when you're on that hard bench, that, um, that's a killer. So this may be better than sitting on the hard bench. It's funny, they also mention here other places you can use it um, is also at church and that's true they, they I've never been to a church that had comfortable seats um, they usually forego the cushioning except maybe on the kneeler so you're sort of on your own with that um, wooden bench for an hour in any case if you're interested in it it goes for about twenty dollars it's an as seen on TV product and I'll link to it down below this video I will uh, link to the first half of this video where I explained more about this, showed what it looks like inside and how it sets up and how it fits in the seat. So you can click on that if you'd like to see the first half of this review. I will be reviewing more products tomorrow on my way home, the last uh, all the way from Deming, New Mexico to Austin in one 10 hour run. So there'll be another review then, check back for that. Or you can click that subscribe button down below. You'll get notified when our videos go up. See you on the next review.